Uh, I want to make a series of films that basically use a tweet as the main catalyst for the polemic. Um, I received one just today. Uh, this is from Samsung UK, uh, and their tweet is essentially promoting a new camera that they've just launched. And it says, to prove that anyone can now shoot like a pro, we're giving lots of David Baileys a Samsung NX1000 smart camera. Uh, which made me think a bit about what photography means today. Um, I've been an active photographer for a few years now and uh, have a camera that many would regard to be a semi-professional camera at least. Uh, I've been to a number of events where people shooting there as professionals are using the same camera as me and uh, are doing this as their daily uh, income. So I've been thinking a lot about photography for the last few years uh, and have mixed with a number of people uh, who have influenced me uh, in photography, particularly uh, Chris Krug, a uh, Canadian photographer um, who's been a good friend for a number of years now, but also people nearby as well. Uh, artist called John O'Shea, who's also a photographer. Um, and seeing how these people undertake their work, but also how they've responded and almost migrated part of, the, part of their creative talent elsewhere in the context of this increasing tidal wave of professional photographers makes me also think about what role I have as a photographer. And it still remains very much a a personal hobby-like interest, but it is a little bit obsessive too. I do enjoy getting out there with the camera uh, as often as I can, and often regard uh, events to be worthwhile only if I've got a camera in my hand to shoot it. So um, there's a degree of, of, uh, of obsessive behaviour around photography that I regard to be perhaps one of the few creative outlets that I, that I enjoy beyond work, uh, but the two become quite close together. Uh, so I wanted to say a few things about what this may mean, the fact that you can have a, a company like Samsung effectively claiming that everyone can now be a professional photographer. And I read a, qu a, a tweet a few days ago that said um, something along the lines of 50% of being a good photographer is standing in the right way. Uh, and it wasn't a claim about your position and stability, it was a claim about your insight into a composition. Uh, choosing your angle, cho choosing what you put within the frame uh, is as much a part of, if not more, being a photographer than having a good camera. In fact, learning the technicalities of, of using a camera uh, are perhaps a much easier thing than to developing some kind of creative insight into what's worth shooting or what elicits a certain kind of uh, aesthetic value. Uh, so it seems to me that the challenge with that view, however, is that a lot more people are getting much more advanced at creating very engaging photography. Everyone has the capacity to stand at the right angle. Everyone has some kind of creative ability that can come through with something like photography. Uh, and having good tools to make that possible, I think, is a really good step forward for, for many people like me, perhaps, uh, who, who wish to pursue some kind of creative outlet. But, of course, the bigger picture of this is that you have a kind of de-skilling of the art of photography that is implied within this increasing professionalization of amateur photography. And um, for that reason, you have potentially the devaluing of a, of a creative practice. The flip side, of course, and it's always been the case for uh, whatever medium has been used over history, is that the, the users of that medium choose to innovate in a very different way as time goes on. So um, this might happen a number of ways. People may revert back to film photography rather than digital, for example. You might choose to um, apply certain, ki certain methods to photography that amateurs who have great cameras aren't thinking about or aren't choosing to use. Uh, you might also try to think more strategically about what sorts of things you shoot and how much you share. Uh, these can all be ways in which you can distinguish yourself as a photographer. Um, what I try to do is photograph the things that I am uh, experiencing within a professional context. So for me the enjoyment of photography is in trying to capture those moments that many are unable to capture with the same kind of background that I bring to those events. Uh, a recent one was the Olympic torch relay, 
Uh, and it's not that I think my ph ph photographs are significantly different or better than the journalist standing there who's, who's shooting for the, for the national newspaper, but I'll share it for free uh, so people can get, actually get hold of these things after the day's newspaper has, has gone out of circulation. And for that reason, it will have a longer life than, than it would otherwise have. But also, the range of things that I would cover, I think, creates a, a particular route into uh, an experience, uh, a phenomenon within society, that a professional photographer might, might have.